Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Exterminator, thanks for joining me. Today we are going to go over 10, or my top 10, tricks and features in the game that you may not have known about. So we'll start with number one here. In single player, when you finish a research by default, it pops up this window and pauses the game for you if you haven't changed the setting for this. And it can get quite annoying after multiple researches or whatever. You can disable this in the game. I saw someone ask if there was a mod to disable this. Uh, it's, it's a feature in the game. Go to Options, Other, and untick this box. I have it unticked, but by default it is enabled. Uh, disable this option here, and it'll stop that from happening, and when research finishes it'll just flash up here. Very nice and straightforward. Number two, you can put modules into labs. Any of the three modules you can put into a lab, they will work exactly the same as they would in any other machine you can put them into, and especially for something like productivity, or if you're just looking for pure research speed, um, these two can be quite nice. So, very cool, you can do that. Next one is extremely helpful and helps you streamline things quite a bit. You can copy and paste recipes or settings from one machine to another or one item to another or entity, I should say. So if we clear these and we copy this with shift right click, you can see it's now green around it, and we paste with shift left click, we can now paste this to other assemblers. It doesn't matter if, uh, if they're a different level, you can paste to them. You can also do this with inserters. So I have here a filter inserter with a filter set. Shift right click copy, paste paste. Um, you can do this with pretty much any condition on an inserter, so a network, a, a, a robot network, you can copy and paste those conditions. It works with circuit network conditions as well. You can copy and paste a chess limitation. I've done these already, but if you copy this and paste paste, you now have the same. You can do this with cargo wagons. You can copy a filter, which you set with middle mouse button, by the way. And there we go. So now you paste, paste, paste. You can paste these filters in. You can also do it between wagons. Copy, paste. And we have the same configuration. So very nice. Next one, you can toggle on and off your advanced info with the Alt key. And advanced info is essentially the stuff that shows, you know, what's going on, what's in a chest, what's inserted. Uh, you can see here all the stuff that it's actually turned off. A lot of people, a lot of newer players don't realize this, and this is just is su such a nice quality of life thing. Number five, electric poles, underground belts, and pipes can be auto-placed at maximum connectable distance uh, by just holding down left click and running. I've done this here, but if I hold down left click, you can see these are connecting automatically. And it doesn't really matter what direction. A quick note, they do get kind of finicky when trying to connect to like two different places um, when they're able to. You can see this doesn't really know where to go. Undergrounds work the same way, which is a fairly new feature, so a lot of people may not actually know this. Those work as do pipes, max connectable distance, and there we go. Number six, concrete and stone brick path. This is your default brush size. You can increase your brush size with the plus key on your numpad and decrease it with the minus key. So plus key, this is our maximum placeable size, and we go down to one tile minimum. So plus minus key on your numpad, you can increase the size, same with concrete. And you can tear up concrete and brick path by taking one of the two in your hand. It is kind of reversible, it doesn't matter what you use. Um, you can take one of the two and hover over where you want to tear up and right click. Because um, if you do this normally, right, it, it doesn't work. So you need to take this, right click, and this is how you tear it up. You can tear it up under assemblers as well and other structures. Numbers seven. You can quick place and quick pull from chests and assemblers uh, by just using a kink combination. Control left clicking places a full the full amount of whatever is in your hand into a chest or an assembler or what have you. Control right click places half of it. And if you have nothing in your hand and you go to a machine or a chest or what have you and control left click, it pulls everything out of the chest. 
and control right click pulls half of the chest or uh, container contents. Number eight, and this one's a little silly, maybe not very practical, uh, but kind of interesting. Uh, there's fish in the game. That there's, they swim around in some of these ponds, and if that's a surprise to you, it's probably more of a surprise you can actually grab them. You can fish. You don't need a fishing pole or anything, obviously, you just grab them. And the fish actually heal you. So if you're fighting biters or you have a uh, mishap, like so, you take a fish, stick it out here, and left click, heals you. There we go. Number nine, and this is a big one. It has to do with compression on belts and inserters. I covered this more in depth in my tutorial on smelting ratios which will be listed and linked in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, I covered this and a lot of other stuff. But inserters cannot fully compress a belt when inserting onto it, to it to an actual belt. You can see here, this is not fully compressed. It should be. This is the correct furnace ratio for this level of belt. And you can see that these guys actually aren't working. Um, and I just put fast here to demonstrate that the level doesn't even matter. These ones aren't even working. And you can see there's gaps in here. You fix this by placing on the underground belts. You can see all these are being placed on the undergrounds. Every insert is working, and we have full compression here 100% of the time. Um, just to zoom out here, this is the same amount of furnaces, just to clarify. And uh, and yeah, so full compression all the time just by inserting on undergrounds. It works with any level of belt, any level of inserter. So there you go. And last thing here is very simple you can rotate assemblers. So this really only applies when you have an assembler that can take into a, uh, take in a liquid. So like when you go to make engine units, for example, they require lubricant. You can rotate it with the R key. I think a lot of people know this, uh, but there's still some who don't, I would imagine, and it can make it helpful logistically trying to figure this out. And there you go. That is it, guys. Kind of my top 10 uh, you know, tricks and features in the game that you may not have known about. And you know, let me know down in the comments you know, what, what you found helpful, what you maybe learned on your own, and if I forgot anything, do let me know. I'm sure there's some stuff I forgot, there's tons, but I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments, and if you did learn something new here, feel free and drop a like. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.